Team Tech Clinic presenting Brain Tumor Detection Using Deep Learning. What is a tumor? A tumor, as it sounds, is a very dangerous disease. A person can sometimes see or feel a tumor, but others will only show up on imaging tests such as mammogram or an MRI. Brain Tumors The brain tumor is one of the deadliest tumors. There are about 250,000 deaths due to brain tumors globally. Tumor detection. Usually brain tumors are diagnosed using MRI scans. Analysis of those is done by two means. 1. Manual inspection of MRI scans by clinicians. 2. Using deep learning to analyze MRI scans. Then, what is deep learning? Deep learning. Deep learning can be explained as an application of machine learning that uses complex algorithms and deep neural networks to train a model. In deep learning, compared to machine learning, feature extraction and classification both are done by the neural network itself. Image processing What is an image pixel? A pixel is the building block of a digital image. Pixel data is used in deep learning to identify what the picture contains. MRI scans are grayscale images like the image shown on the screen. Image preprocessing MRI scan results should be converted into images that can be easily processed using neural networks. Edge dejection algorithms are used to discard irrelevant data from images. Contrast adjustments are also done in this process. Convolutional Neural Network Convolutional neural networks are the most suitable AI technique for brain tumor detection. CNNs basically consist of a feature learning part and a classification part. In the feature learning part, convolution operations comes into play. It extracts features from the picture. Classification is done in the fully connected layer. These are the main layers of the 3D convolutional neural network for brain tumor detection. Four MRI models of a same brain are inputted into the neural network. Convolutional layer extracts features and pooling layer reduces the complexity of the data. There can be multiple convolution and pooling layers as well. At last, the fully connected layer decides whether the brain has tumors. In this approach, multimodality has been used to get more accurate results. Multimodality simply means getting information about an object from different modes. In the MRI context, multimodality is getting MRI images using different nuclear magnetic visualization sequences. Those multiple models have been used as the input for the 3D convolution network. Convolutional layer. The name of CNN is also derived from this special convolution operation for image signals. The purpose of convolution in CNN is to extract features from images. Feature maps of three convolution layers in this operation are shown on the screen. This animation shows how the convolution of a 3D convolution neural network happens. Layer. Common activation functions used are sigmoid, ReLU, tan edge, and so on. The feature map obtained after the input image passes through the convolution layer. If directly expanded to do classification or other tasks, result in a large amount of calculation. The purpose of the pooling operation is to remove some redundant information and reduce the dimension of the feature map, which can reduce the feature thereby reducing the amount of calculation and effectively avoid overfitting. Fully connected layer. The fully connected layer is actually a multi-layer perceptron network, which is fully connected to the features or activation data of the previous layer output. Training and testing of the neural network. Training must be done prior to doing any identification. A large data set of MRI scans should be inputted into the neural network. Calculated predictive outputs are compared with the ground truth and the loss between truth and predictive values is also calculated. After that, in the track propagation, weighted values and bias values are updated to make this loss as minimum as possible. After the training, same neural network is used for testing the accuracy with another set of images. Accuracy Accuracy can be defined as the fraction of the model that got right. The accuracy of the CNN model on applying the testing data is 89%.